Hesitate to come to me if you need anything. Good question. Basically, things other than that which require brawn or brains. So, what does that leave? I guess I could give this a go. I knew it! There is a strong elemental energy coming from deep within this temple. Paimon, are you able to float across? Can't do this! Good point. We'd better start looking for a way to get up there then. monument no wonder Let me try. try to activate it with the power stand back sweeties come a little closer you're in for a little shock come a little closer
Falcon of the West. They are the four winds of Mondstadt, affiliated with Barbados, the god of Animo. The dragon of the East, Storm Terror, its real name is Devalin. Though most in Mondstadt seem to have forgotten that in all this Storm Terror business. So now you know why Devalin is only able to channel three of the four winds' power. Because it has been consuming itself from the beginning. Because of hatred, I presume. Hatred? Hatred for Mondstadt. Hatred drove it to become something more powerful than the wind itself. To become Storm Terror. But why would one of the four winds hate the city it was supposed to protect? Uh... As a child of Mondstadt, it's something that's really hard to say aloud. Here, take this. It's a very old story from more than a century ago. See how the knights are doing? But if you got anything more interesting to do, Paimon can come too. By the way, we obtained another animunculus in one of the Four Winds temples, right? We might come across more of them in the future, so don't forget to offer them to the statues. Adventurous gift. You've had your eye on him, eh? Oh, that is not what I meant at all. When I look at you, Paimon sees it. Paimon always. Nevertheless, 
You must accumulate time as a... Wait! Uh, do not worry. In short, there are lots of benefits, but no... <laughs> New recruits these days certainly do not beat around them. Basically, the Adventurer's Guild rewards you every time you're adventuring. Here is a new member's gift for you. You will need... Without further ado, please allow me to officially welcome you. Here is your adventurer handbook. A new member coming aboard is a moment. It has a rep and it is... Oh, and what? Sometimes you will find yourself stuck at a certain adventure. When this happens, you need to perform some impressive feats to gain further recognition from the guild. Impressive feats? Sounds like... They are simply specific, but that will come later. That will do for today. Add Ash... How's that wind glider I gave you last time? <laughs> Seems like it's really growing on you. But then again, you don't have a gliding license, do you? A gliding license? Hmm, what's that? <sighs> Isn't it obvious? You gotta have a gliding license to legally glide in Mondstadt. Oh, but we've been gliding for ages now. This is the first we've heard about it. Yeah, you've been gliding all over the place. Everyone's noticed. <laughs> so, you came looking for us? Because you want to give us a gliding license? No way! The Knights of Avonius have strict rules. You need to pass an exam, and only then will the Knights issue your license. Today, I'm here as an examiner to oversee your fi- I gave you your wing glider, so this is my responsibility. At least that's what acting grandmother- An exam?! <sighs> what a pain in the butt! Then I- I'm sure you'll glide through it. I mean, the whole city saw how well you flew the day that Storm Terror attacked, so I'm sure you'll have no problems. But, we do need to respect the rules, and here, take this gliding manual. No need to memorize it, just be familiar with everything in there. For example, only one person per wing glider, no carrying anything over the set weight limit, no taking off using an animal slime, and so on and so forth. Anyway, be sure to read it, okay? I have. Wow, that's a big old book! Paimon thinks we best get started. Great, come find me when you're done. I'll... <sighs> the Knights of Favonius Gliding Manual... De when the first wisp of wind brushed across the land, birds that yearned for the sky had wings, but no way to fly. They ask the animal god, how can we reach the heavens? To which the animal god replied, you have yet to find that which is most important. As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds of a dandelion high into the sky. The birds thrust out their wings, but the breeze was all too mild, leaving them to stumble across the earth. So they went to the gorge, where the wind showed off its wild and incomparable strength. They threw themselves off the cliff and flapped their wings amongst the howling winds until they were able to fly freely in the sky. To the animal god they went to gleefully say, We understand now. All we needed was a stronger wind to fly. In reply, the animal god said, what you lacked was not wind, 
but courage. It is courage that has allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. That's a cool story, but is the knight's gliding manual really written in that? Huh. Anyway, let's... 